because the gap is so much smaller, any one of these sets can go to these other players, right. you know? And it's a really fresh and amazing thing to see. Uh, Leo opting for... Uh, I, I, I thought that was just a doubles thing. No, no. I, he, I, was, I was thinking him play a lot of uh, friendlies, a lot of money matches. Like, Interesting. As well as some of his uh, pools matches as well. So we're probably going to hear a lot more of this Florida crowd right now. Uh, Myron being a Southwest Florida player. Uh, best Olimar in Florida as well. Yeah. Um, Olimar, an extremely strong character in this game. Just so much damage so quick is really what he's about. And then being able to secure as many tools to secure his kills. Right, exactly. Uh, also, just getting buffs like uh, like Ariel's not being... Ariel's being Ariel. Yeah, exactly, like actual <laughs> Ariel's. Um, in previous games, they were nowhere near as good. Um, Leo off to... Okay, never mind. He evened it up. <laughs> uh, Myron doing a pretty good job of keeping Leo out. Uh, it's a pretty even game right now, especially Ike yeah. being Ike. And... Uh, Olimar being pretty light. Oh, oh my down goodness, gonna Myron was ready yeah, for that aerial. Was. All right, Myron is feeling it right now. Super focused. Sidestep into whistle combo. Yeah, uh, so Ike uh, has that <laughs> right there. There we go. Um, Nair into up air or back, back air, air yeah. depending on where it hits. Yeah. Um, up air is usually the more common one. If it hits in the middle, back air, if you catch at a certain point, will uh, also kill, as we saw. And Myron doing a great job there. Disadvantage, whistling out. When in doubt, whistle out. <laughs> that's the that's the motto, right? It's the stranger danger whistle. <laughs> All right, so we're going in. Myron taking the stock uh, lead again, but not for long. Myron, or uh, Leo just brought it back. Oh, okay, my goodness. whistling through that forward air. Oh, and F's. Oh, oh, what are you doing, Myron? Not like no. this. Myron raising his hand. He's not happy about it. He chose uh, at the wrong moment he, to, like, do a button. I, I wonder if he tried to parry it. Nah, no one tries to parry that. No human tries to parry that. No <laughs> mere mortal would ever <laughs> attempt to parry. I would ever I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so double Nair coming out. Oh, he got a little wave land, too, from MK Leo. Feeling himself a little bit. All right, so Myron composing himself a little bit. Oh, God. Oh, and then I'm supposed to take Clean. it. That was a backward. I looked backwards. Like yeah, he was facing away, kind of trying to cover maybe even an, uh, a roll on as well. In. Yeah, very interesting uh, interaction right there. Uh, definitely doable. Olimar's damage output uh, potential Insane. is extremely high. He has probably like top four damage uh, racking in the yes, game. Yes, I can, I can see that. Ooh, and we got two purples and a white. That's a ton of damage. Uh, Leo's going to have a really Great hard time chase there. That. Are we going to see a game one going to Myron, it or are we going to see uh, MK Leo steal this game back? All right, two purples is a big problem for Leo right now. Oh, and back air is not going to oh, do it. That not almost yet. Got him. It almost got him. It was a DI mix-up. Like middle of the stage. Yep, it was a DI mix-up. Uh, all right, so coming through. No, no Pikmin. No, oh, nothing you can do about that. Oh, okay, so Nair into up air is a, just a true combo. You can't get out of it. Just didn't have any protection for him. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, can't even whistle through it really at that point. Like he had to pull Pikmin so he could get away, but Leo was just on top of him yeah. the entire time. But really good uh, bloodthirst there yeah. coming from MK Leo, Absolutely. noticing the advantage he had right there when uh, you know no Pikmin on board, you can just start throwing things. Um, uh, props to Myron for not getting shook by that forward smash too. I know it was really unfortunate. We saw uh, his uh, he was dis displeased in the character uh, or the character <laughs> the, <laughs> player the player cam. cam. Yeah, exactly. Um, but don't let it shake you up, Myron. You did great. Uh, we're we're gonna go back to Smashville again. Okay, so I don't think he did anything wrong on that stage, honestly. No, it's fine. It was uh, very good on both parts. Obviously, just MK Leo being his uh, true to form self, yes. getting his safe neutral airs right. out there and leading a lot into it. Also, so we'll go ahead and see if uh, Leo can kind of adapt. So early on, he was looking a little bit rough, but caught on pretty quickly. Uh, so I think we're gonna see that adjustment we were talking about uh, right now, probably. A nice up smash right there. So, Nair into turn around grab. Gonna do 30 whole percent. So, oh. I'm adding it to the list of moves that do, do your taxes. Yeah, yeah. yeah it right. does everything. Like, we have a Palatina Nair, does your taxes. Right, does your taxes. Uh, we have, um, you know, a Krom forward tilt. Yep. Ike Nair. Yeah. Just those all purpose moves they that just you just want to be putting they out. They do whatever they need to. Right. Um, so, Myron's gonna have to start parrying these attacks like he did earlier. That's how he got the first stock in the first game. Uh, Nair. Obviously, a sh very strong move, but a very predictable move when it uh, with the parrying timing on it. Yeah. All right, back here, not going to take it yet. And they're going to catch Myron's down smash attempt, and uh, yeah, playing out of the corner with that his poor one Monique. Purple Pikmin. <laughs> that poor purple Pikmin got murdered. Let's All go. Right. Myron, first stock once yeah, again. Dashing up and taking that first stock, but watch out for this Nair. He's okay. That's Jeez. exactly what I wanted to see. All right, I'm starting to think Myron's like good. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, I already knew that. Obviously, but like. <laughs> Jeez. Like he actually knows what he's doing, right? Yeah, like, That's crazy. Like parrying on purpose, who would have thought? Gonna go for that float up air, just get that second. Oh, uh, he whistles there. through the nair. 
And forward air not going to take it yet. Got to survive. Let's see how he gets out of this. Oh, uh, kind of yeah. easing his way up, yep. being very careful uh, there. But jumps from ledge again. Leo capitalizes on that with a back air. 107 Leo at a ton of percent right now. Yeah, you're right. All right, enough smash may take it. Nair to grab once again. Very, very consistent there. Oh, right, but so yeah. That was like Iron catching game? on to these Nair spam situations right. and just kind of putting out his up smashes preemptively. That's something that pretty much every Ike loves to do. Uh, if you don't do anything about it, he just gets everything he needs to off of it. Um, really, really good string going through from. Oh, no jump. Oh, this could be bad. Oh. Okay, I thought we were going to see Spike. Oh my tech. god, that tech from MK Leo. Got double purple. Up here, not going to take it yet, but Next one more of one, Any Nair is going to be it for the stock. But he's got double purple, like you and said. out of that fear, he was able to get that grab. Yep, exactly. But it's better than being dead. We take oh, those. Oh, We take those as Byron, well. Byron also almost didn't get that punish. All right, coming through. Uh, we're going to see a Nair come out from, from Leo. Nair to back air. Nair to Still, up air. I think double purple, double purple yellow is probably the most obnoxious at zero percent. Yeah, I can see that for sure. Oh, unfortunately, that lack of range on this purple Pikmin is uh, not doing him any favors. Yep. All right, so I think we've seen almost every stock aside from that forward smash taken by Nair, leading into another move. What was that? Did you see that blue Pikmin on the ledge right there? Yeah. That was weird. Oh, so much damage. <laughs> that ton of it. I mean, I'm going to keep saying it time and time again. It's just crazy. Yeah, the output potential is insane with this character. But you actually have to know what you're doing in order to get all this damage. You can't just press random attacks. Only somewhat random attacks. Yeah, everything is, is pretty good. This has to be random toward your opponent. That, that yellow yellow. going to take it. Let's go, Myron, taking the second game from MK Leo. Crowd popping off. I would, yeah, I popped off a little bit. What you guys don't see is kind of in the background of the player cam toward the right is actually where everyone's sitting because that's where the uh, big screen is. Right, right, so right. So you might not see the, the hype crowd in this camera, but they are there, rest assured. I right. can kind of hear them right next Pretty to much all of Florida. <laughs> Pretty there, much the entire state. Uh, rooting right now. So you know what's crazy about this is that uh, when we got a Florida player, it doesn't matter which region they're from. If they're fighting a top player, we're rooting for them. Right. Uh, so this is actually Florida United right now at Smash Conference, and that's exactly what we wanted. All right, so we're going uh, Ike again. I wonder if that's just who he's sticking to is his main. Seems to be the case so far. Very confidently going right back into it here. Uh, we're on Town City now, so a little bit bigger blast zones here. Yeah. Adding a little bit more survivability, maybe a little bit more platform option um, for uh, MK Leo to land somewhere else. So maybe you can answer this for me. Does Town City still have the uh, the low ceiling? No, it's bigger. Okay, good. It's actually bigger than the average ceiling. Now. Gotcha. Really? Yeah, they, they, they uh, overcorrected. Probably for the platforms, specifically. Yeah, no, I mean, it makes sense. You have high platforms, you don't need a low ceiling. Right, exactly. Uh, which is a good change, well, potentially. Not for certain characters. <laughs> but not uh, reading that uh, that lack of tech there with the force match. Oh, oh we my all wanted gosh, it. We Leo. all wanted it. I wanted it too. All right. Leo being super aggressive with that down air right there too. I mean, Myron himself being hungry for it. Uh, that neutral air up air going to be enough once again. That was a high one too. First time I think MK Leo's got in a stock lead here. Yep, absolutely. Oh. What are we going to see? Oh, we didn't. Yeah, I think he wanted to like jump off, jump back down air. Right. Like I think Leo was footage. going for a, a suicide spike right there. Oh, actually, it would be suicide with Ike now that I think that about it. That side B being an amazing tool to stop yeah, him from absolutely. grabbing ledge. And then getting the down air right there, too. Because it forced him to swing every time. Yep. That's awesome. Yep, and then he uh, capitalized on that with the down air uh, spike. All of our tech guys, all, all you all of our mains at home. It's all 12 of you. Yeah, all 12 of you. Write that down. <laughs> oh, that poor blue Pikmin got murdered. Just cut in half. Um, it seems like purples are a lot harder to kill in this game as well, which is which sucks. They, they really do a good job of just, like, being very there. Like, very often I'm seeing double purple right. on most stocks at some point. Yeah, they're tanks, that's for sure. All right, so uh, try to, to Try to meet him halfway there yeah. with something, but gets uh, swung at instead. So uh, Leo is just in the air constantly. That backer definitely going to take it right there. See, right there, he had two Pikmin. So he tried to pull a Pikmin and then instantly whistle, but actually died for that right. exact uh, situation. I think just choosing to do it a little bit too close to Mkaleo. That makes sense. Uh, died extremely uh, convincingly, too. I think that was, <laughs> OK, up smash to catch that uh, short hop. I agree with that. All right. Just run up and do it and on a shield. Smashes. Yeah. So uh, I guess confident. that Pikmin was tagged on him, so maybe it just uh, he thought he would jump out to like right. avoid or like not get grabbed. That's what it seemed like. All right, so Myron had a very bad situation right now on Legend against Leo. Yeah, we're at neutral air kill percent right now, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Forever you're at neutral air kill percent. Uh, oh, dash attack? Oh, wow, really good aggressive nair uh, from Myron landing with that. I don't know, but one. And dash attack going to take it. No, oh, wow, I was wrong. Commentators say that 10 times more ever since Ultimate came out. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I was wrong. Oh, I guess not. 
Okay, so good percent build up right now. Nice Nair out of shield. The whistle coming That's through. That's it. Get <laughs> now, All right. So like, a little, a little way I look at it, like with the freeze frame mechanic, yeah. like the game basically has two judges. That's the yes. way I look at it. There's, <laughs> the 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 there's the first judge, and that guy looks at the hit itself and says, can you die from this? <laughs> yeah, yes. You can die from this, insert freeze frame. Right. Then the second jump judge comes out, and that's actually your DI. Right. Okay. It's like, okay, you have a chance of dying from this. Did you? Right. That's a good point. Um, it must be hard to, like, program that into the game, too, just because there's so many factors involved uh, in that. So there's a reason it's so inconsistent sometimes. <laughs> All right, Myron, uh, Myron pumping himself up a little bit going into this game three. Uh, game four? Game four. Yeah. Game four. 2-1, MK Leo's favor. Running yes. it right back to town and city. Myron not saying anything about the stage here being an issue. No, I think he was completely comfortable uh, with the stage. All right, going to take a ton of damage from there that white is. Pikmin. So much, 72%? And, and 72 comboed into disadvantage. And that parry on the Nair again into up smash, oh, doing just tons. He's at 100% right now. It's been like five seconds. But it's not just about that one exchange. It's about what follows. Right, exactly. Speaking of following, Leo doing an excellent job keeping that advantage state. And he's turned it around pretty much completely. One more Nair, and then another one will definitely take the stock. Check, 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 checking. Uh, we got another parry right there. Leo, you have to be careful. He is being a little obnoxious and about it, but not going to take it yet. You know, if it works, it works. If it ain't, if it ain't fixed, don't break it. <laughs> if it ain't fixed, don't break it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to have to up recover. Okay, Myron not capitalizing on it. Uh, MKLeo did a really good job keeping it ambiguous as to which recovery option he was going to take. Random up air, just catch the jump. I play a little more grounded in the future or rise with an attack. Right. These purples don't die. Like, Ike fares them, and they're like, huh, I don't care. Going for an aggressive up air right there. There okay. Go. Yeah, he deserved it. I think you would need a, a yellow Pikmin to kind of interrupt that upbeat. Okay. Uh, dash attack, gonna uh, connect, but not take the stock yet. Right, corner situation, not the most fun right now. 120, he can get looked at funny and die. <laughs> and he did. He got, that was it. Gave him the stink eye, and that was it. Man, it's frustrating to get killed by the exact same thing over and over and over again. I mean, yeah, but at least it's like, hey, just look out for one thing. Yeah, that's true. But He's that probably one thing, going, but it's very good. <laughs> it's an extremely good thing. He can't get this uh, red Pikmin up. <laughs> All right, so they're going to lead into up tilt. Whistled through the up tilt. I think grab was the option instead. Back air, okay. All right, going to chase him down with this little float. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Nair into back air again. And another back wow. air. I almost did it. Yeah, almost bad Going to chase him with the up air. Going to kill two Pikmin at once. <laughs> Just chops right through him. Uh, now we have an even game. Oh, I thought back air. But no. Yeah, that's what it looked like. And then back air, not going to take it yet. Falling with forward air to get rid of this Pikmin right there. And dash attack was a great option, knowing that he was going to throw out forward smash. And uh, it was a really good dash back, too, there to get, yeah. kind of bait out an option before going forward. Well, he also knew that uh, purple Pikmin, if the forward smash did come out, didn't have the range to connect with him. How much is uh, oh. oh wow, Myron being so aggressive right I there. I was just gonna it. ask how much damage is gonna take before seal on the stock. None. Answer five. <laughs> so he threw the Pikmin to intercept the side B, and then uh, instead of waiting for the recovery, just went off stage and dared. Okay, double up air from purple Pikmin is gonna do a lot. Oh, he's got two purples and a white right now. This is the worst possible yeah, situation yep, for Leo. This is gonna be a lot of big damage. Myron looking pretty right now okay. to take this game. Leo's gonna have to be more careful with those nares, or maybe he'll say, "I don't care anymore." Maybe see a little bit more Tomahawks come out from him. Ooh, that up smash probably would have taken the stock. Okay, uh -oh. double purple once again, 127. Tight situation. Oh, we're going to see another parry into up smash. Oh, no, whistle into up air, almost taking it. Oh, I think we're going to see a parry into up smash. Oh, I feel it gosh. in the bones. Don't do the nair. <laughs> and that's, that's it. it. Uh, Doesn't get the parry he wanted. Yeah. Three, one, going to MVG, yeah. MK Leo. Uh, Byron looking a little bit upset. Uh, about that and just dipping off stage. Honestly, that's nothing to be upset about. Myron did fantastic.